My Lords, I beg to move the amendment standing in my name on the order paper. It's a great privilege to follow the noble lady, Baroness Meacher, and I have huge respect. Forgive me. Thank you. I have. Oh, God. Your glasses are going to fall off. I have to say, in my career um, delivering babies, um, I have also seen some of the terrible and moving things that she describes. And I have great respect for her massively important speech and for her great work in, in, in moving uh, this bill. But, my noble lords, we've all, many of us, received a vast correspondence. And it's clear that there is a massive public interest in this debate, as almost never before, and there are many misunderstandings about its implications that can be seen from what they have written. It raises the most important moral question and needs clarity without euphemism. Assisted dying could equally apply, if you chose, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, assisted dying could equally be, uh, be, be, be used to apply to palliative care. And it seems to me that this title does not represent what is really intended. It does not represent what is intended, and the word euthanasia, from the Greek you, of course, well or good, and thanatos, death, is in fact what we are actually uh, talking about. I met a teenager in a school last week who asked me this question. Do you think we should strive for a perfect society? And actually, my lords, is this really desirable, she went on to say. And I said that in an imperfect world, we have to do the best we can. And this is what really we are to debate in this debate today. And I hope that we do so in a respectful and thoughtful manner. And I will say no more to hear what other people have to say. Mm -hmm.